Oh my gosh. These last three years, I felt like I was constantly running as fast as I could. So I look forward to the moment that I can hug him because I know it's, it's gonna be probably the first time I feel like I've had to stop running. This moment feels amazing to finally have him back in my arms. All the difficult and hard times I've had to do alone and all the hard, difficult times he's had to go through alone, nothing is going to separate us anymore. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. After three years, I feel lucky and blessed to have my wife to hold me down. Raising my daughter through the phone was difficult, but my wife, she kept me, you know, sane. She kept me focused. Now that I'm out, it just all feels surreal to me. <laughs> I love you. I do. I see you. <sighs> Let me kiss. Let me kiss. You want to kiss me? Yes, I want to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> At a young age, I came to the streets to sell drugs, steal, rob, do whatever it took to provide for my little sister and my mom. At the age of 15, I carjacked and had a gun, and they wind up sentencing me for five years. They charged me as an adult. Didn't make any sense to me at all. How could you send a 15-year-old to prison? I haven't even went to juvenile yet. I was just another statistic on the streets. I was another young black guy that they wanted to get off the street and felt like it would be better if I would be locked away. I can't do this anymore. Okay. Huh. Oh, like, I don't want to do this anymore. Or again. It's over with. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I'm gone. So Sarah got you t-shirts to wear saying king and queen. Mm -hmm. Did you feel weird? Wearing the king and queen t-shirts? Sarah is a queen. My queen is, now that's something different. I want to see my queen. And who's your queen? Megan, my queen. <laughs>